What are the right things to say to you at a meet and greet? I like, honestly, I like everything, but I like when people say specific things. I feel crazy when people yell like, fuck my pussy with a rake, mom. Mm. I'm just like, I don't know what to say. It, and I never know what to say when people are like, I was gonna kill myself and then you came to town. Oh. I don't know, like, that happens a lot. Right. I would say on tour, I hug and hold three different people crying per night. Oh. Crying. Wow. Crying. Um, I think the best thing to do is tell me something specific. Like, when I meet a famous person that I like die for, I try to bring up something that they can actually comment on. Like, I just met Amanda Lepore for the third time and every time I meet her, I'm reduced to a puddle. And every time I meet Amanda, who's like one of the reasons I started doing drag, I think of people who meet me and feel that way. And I'm like, okay, try to be a little more compassionate. Mm. Because I was just saw Amanda at Queen Kong, and I brought my book to the dressing room <laughs> for her to sign. Like, can you sign my yearbook? I was just like, Ugh. And so I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up something specific. And I said, oh, I love this book so much. I love the part where you ran away from your husband. And she was like, I had to get out of there, yeah. <laughs> so I think if you give people like, if you give people something concrete, they're like, yeah. So when people are like, I love the, ep the episode of your show about space, I'm like, oh my God, me too. Mm -hmm. That part was crazy. But I love you, I never know how to respond to that. But Kim Chi taught me, it's not about what you say back, just listen. People just wanna talk, they just wanna say what they want. I just met Judy Greer, you know Judy Greer from Jawbreaker? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I know it's nothing to you, but like when I saw Jawbreaker when I was a kid, it was the first time I'd ever seen a movie really about drag, because if you think about it, I was like, you know, Violet is, is Fern Mayo's drag. Yeah. And she was just like, yeah, I mean, it's a movie that I did that we, you know. Because to her, when she's 20 or whatever, she's right. like, yeah, it's just a movie. Because <laughs> she'll never see it the way I saw it. Yeah. And so I try to remember, I'll never see Trixie the way the audience saw it. So just trust them. If they like it, trust them. If you had to swap wardrobe and makeup with any other drag queen, who would it be and why? Would their clothes magically fit me? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Farah is like the one. Uh huh. Um, I think I'm probably a cross between like Farah and Lady Bunny. Yes. <laughs> I think that's kind of where I want to operate. I love Amanda. I mean, anything she wears, her Instagram videos of her from the foot up, just uh. sitting in rhinestones, just staring. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or if she does ASMR. Amanda Lepore? Have you ever seen her do that? No. She did something where she was she getting her nails done. She speaks in ASMR. Done. I know, she's like pure ASMR all the time. But she said, ASMR. <laughs> it was, I was like, I need a whole Amanda Lepore ASMR channel. Yeah, I, I have too loud of a laugh to do ASMR, I think. <laughs> I blow people's ear, like, ears off. Uh -uh. Um, who else? I mean, I'm, I have so many that I'm obsessed with. Anything Kim wears, I'm like, fuck yourself. You were right. so amazing. Um, and then, I mean, that's probably it. I mean, Farrah is probably like one of my favorite drag queens, so she's up there. Gorgeous. And I like a lot of the clothes James Mansfield, James Mansfield wears. Yeah, she's yeah. doing her thing. This dress, I sent a designer a picture of James Mansfield. You <laughs> love <So>. it. <laughs> Would you accept a drag daughter? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of value in rolling up your sleeves and learning to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I think in drag families, you accidentally are too, you learn the ropes too fiercely, mm. and then you're too blood related. Right. You wanna be a sister, not a twin. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, the best drag queens have the most authentic thing because they, they did it themselves. Last but not least, the most important question, what should I name my cat? <laughs> <laughs> and you know this person is gonna name their cat whatever you say, so think about it, because this cat is gonna be named whatever that is. Okay, I want you to borrow this. There's a drag queen in Louisville who has like, because Karen from Finance used to be my old favorite drag name. Yeah. But now this new one from Louisville has snatched my wig and it has floon, floon. Her name is Chicky Parm. Mm-hmm. So I think your cat should be named Chicky Parm. The cat Isn't that the best drag name you've ever heard? <laughs> Chicky Parm. Chicky Parm. Chicky Parm. It's, I love a drag name that is so brilliant, but somehow hit under all of our radar. Where you're like, you hear the name and you're like, I can't believe no one ever thought of that. Right. That's so good. Chicky Parm. <laughs> That's so stupid. Very stupid and perfect. And those have been the questions from Reddit. Woo! They were good. Those weren't as bad as I thought they no, would be. No, no, they were good.